The question is, what am I supposed to learn about love? What am I supposed to learn about love this time around, in this lifetime? That's, uh, that's your question, and this tarot reading, this interactive tarot reading, will give you the answer. So you have three choices. You have the mini, Rider weight A, the pictorial key, choice B, and then you have the Connolly. Connolly, mini Connolly, tarot deck, choice C, A, B or C. Choose now. So you've chosen option A, the mini rider weight. And this is your answer. What am I supposed to learn about love this time around in this lifetime? What am I supposed to learn about love? So you have the Ace of Swords, the Seven of Swords, and the Four of Cups. Um, this could be read in several ways. Uh, but I think, like the final card, the Four of Cups, you need to take time to evaluate the choices you've made in love and to reflect upon those choices. Because maybe in hypothetical past lives, maybe you didn't behave in a very honorable way if, if you believe in such things. Or maybe you've suffered from deception. Maybe in the past either you took the initiative to be deceptive and to cheat and to lie and to be a manipulative type of person. And now you have to reflect upon that type of behavior. If it wasn't you, maybe you were lied to, you were cheated, you were fooled, um, and now you have to take a step back and reflect and just try to understand why did those things happen and also to recognize the opportunities because there's a little hand being in, and it's offering a cup to this person who's very passive. You need to be more passive and more introspective and more uh, within your own feelings because I believe probably in the past you were t in terms of love you were too you were too much in your own head much or there is too much logic and rationality uh, so there's some sort of deception in your life I don't know if you've done it if others have done it to you if this happened in um, past lives but all the bad things that might have happened now, for instance, in this in this life, are uh, the purpose of those bad things, those lies and deceptions and ma manipulation, is to force you into a, a reflective state, uh, an introspective state, state into self-reflection. What do I really need and want uh, in terms of love? Okay, this is your answer. So you picked option B, which is pictorial key tarot. And this is your answer. What am I supposed to learn about love this time around in this lifetime? So you have temperance, which is major arcana, number 14. And then you have the ten of cups. And finally, you have the Six of Wands. You're supposed to learn that love is joy and happiness. That love will come to you. That you will have love. Uh, there's temperance. So love is moderation, is self-control, is virtue, is being able to harmonize what you want with the desires of another person so being in self-control being modest um, also love this is an angel 14 um, temperance love is being brought to you by I don't know God heavens an angel like your love life is being directed from above 
so it will be given to you. You don't actually have to do anything. <laughs> Almost, uh, and, uh, you d the only thing that you, you, in my opinion, you might need to do is to always choosing the path of moderation, okay, and self-control. Uh, love. You're supposed to learn that love is joy. The joy that 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 there is and and happy ever after that you'll get um, you know that Hollywood picture which is like a happy family life f filled with joy and love I mean that you'll have the marriage and you will have the kids and your wishes will be uh, fulfilled and you'll triumph in love life and you you feel maybe a little bit uh, even vain. So you'll feel fulfilled. You'll feel emotional fulfilled. You're supposed to learn that true love can happen within the, rel the realm of the status quo or the, the, the orthodox, within the realm of what is expected. Um, how do you say? Not hidden, but uh, uh, true love can happen not hidden. True love can happen uh, exactly the way uh, one thinks, like the happy ever after, all of that. And true love will happen within moderation, self-control and being able to harmonize your wishes with another person's wishes. And it's something that is it's being brought to you by an angel. So. You're supposed to learn that there is such a thing as a happy, loved life. So you've picked option C, the mini Connolly tarot deck. And this is your answer. What, uh, option C, what, where, what are you supposed to learn about love this time around? And we have the Knight of Pentacles, or the Knight of Coins. We have the Ten of Cups again is interesting and we have the five of swords well, what are you supposed to learn uh, you're supposed to learn that love can be an effort uh, that it's done every day uh, it might be devoid of passion but is love is something that you do every day in a persistent manner and love is those little things that you do every day in day in and day out for the one you love it could be something really really tiny but it means something. It doesn't doesn't have to be a, a big, a big event. Something, you know, flashy. Um, love. You, this this represents. This might represent someone like a young man, who uh, up till the age of thirty, more or less, and he might be from a, um, an earth sign like Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Very modest uh, and modest and faithful person. So you're supposed to learn that uh, love is practical, love is modest, love is faithful. Uh, and if you apply that in your, in your everyday life, you'll have happiness. You'll have the Ten of Cups, which is a happy family life and a happy love life. Also, finally, we have the Five of Swords. Uh, which is has several meanings. One of them is accepting limitations, accepting that in order to, for you to have a happy love life, you uh, should be able to accept that you have to give up something. You have to give up probably ideas about what love is. Um, you uh, should not be inflexible, should not be dogmatic. Um, so win some, lose some, be faithful, be consistent, uh, always be there, accept that there are limitations and then you'll have your happy uh, family life, your happy love life and, and this is what you're supposed to learn about love. Thank you very much for viewing. Bye bye.